Approaches for AQA Psychology 20 Minutes Revision. This PsychBoost video is going to be running through all of approaches, including the comparisons in less than 20 minutes. It's going to be quick, so if I say something that you want more detail on, go check out the full playlist of video classes on this unit. I have playlists for biopsych and research methods in paper too. Do subscribe if you haven't yet, as I'm going to be putting up more videos as we go through the exams. This channel's content is supported by psych students like you on Patreon. And as a thank you for their support, I've uploaded the script to this video onto my Patreon feed. Hopefully, it's going to be a handy set of notes in your prep. I've also uploaded a video on Patreon explaining how your grades are worked out from your exam performance. For example, how many marks do you actually need for that A star? That video will be on YouTube in a couple of weeks, but all patrons can watch it right now. Okay, 20 minutes, let's do this. My advice, pause when each new title appears and guess what I'm going to say. If you can play the entire video and guess correctly, you're doing pretty good for the exam. Studying the mind was philosophy. Wundt, the father of psychology, started controlled empirical scientific research. Opened the first psychological lab in Leipzig, Germany. 1870s. Studying internal mental processes. Use introspection, looking inward, self-examination, analysing your own conscious experience to standard stimuli, such as a metronome. Reporting present experience such as sensations, emotional reaction and mental images. Systematic approach. Same stimulus, surroundings and instructions. The participants were highly trained. Breaking thoughts about an object down into separate elements was an attempt to uncover the structure of the mind. This approach was called structuralism. Wundt's work paved the way for later scientifically controlled research in psychology. Wundt's work was criticised by later behaviourists who thought internal mental processes could not be studied scientifically by introspection. They focused only on observable inputs, stimuli and outputs, behaviours, seeing the mind as a black box not open to scientific investigation. The study of internal mental processes was later continued by cognitive psychologists who built models of how systems such as memory worked However, they use experimentation and inference, not introspection. Learning approaches, the behaviourist approach. The behaviourist approach was developed in an attempt to make psychology more scientific by using highly controlled experiments. Criticised earlier attempts to study internal mental processes, seeing the mind as a black box. Classical conditioning, learning by association. Learning happens when a neutral stimulus is constantly paired with an unconditioned stimulus, so that eventually the neutral stimulus becomes a conditioned stimulus producing the response caused by the unconditioned stimulus. Pavlov demonstrated this in dogs who would associate the sound of a bell or metronome, neutral stimulus, then conditioned stimulus, with food, unconditioned stimulus, and would drool, response, to the conditioned stimulus. Stimulus generalization. Conditioned response happens with similar stimuli. For example, little Albert was classically conditioned to fear a white rat and became afraid of a dog, a fur coat, and a Santa mask. Operant conditioning, learning by trial and error. Learning from connection between behaviors and consequences. Skinner. Demonstrated this in rats who learned from trial and error that pulling on a lever would release a food pellet. The lever pulling behavior became more frequent and deliberate over time. The rats also learned to press the lever to stop the floor of the cage being electrocuted for 30 seconds. Types of reinforcement. Positive, adding a stimulus to increase a behavior. Negative, removing a stimulus to increase a behavior. Punishment, adding a stimulus to decrease a behavior. Extinction, stopping reinforcement will result in the behavior stopping over time. A little Albert study showed fear could be a learnt response suggesting not instinctual, and led to the development of the behavioural explanation and counter-conditioning treatments of phobias. Behavioural theories have been used in an attempt to control human behaviour, token economies. This can be seen as unethical, environmentally deterministic. Behaviours result from learning from the environment, not free will. This is hard determinist with no role for free will in behavioural theories. Behaviours use objective scientific experimental methods, systematically manipulating variables and measuring observable behaviour. This demonstrates cause and effect. Environmental reductionist approach in focusing on a lower level of explanation for human behaviour. For example, stimulus response links or associations, therefore lacking meaning when it comes to complex human behaviours. Research mainly with animals, therefore generalisation to human behaviour is limited. Learning approaches, social learning theory. Social learning theory agrees with behaviourist ideas that behaviour results from learned experience. Disagrees with the behaviourist approach of ignoring internal mental processes, suggesting they must be present for learning. Focuses on learning taking place in a social context due to exposure to others' behaviour. Imitation. Others' behaviour is observed. If behaviour is rewarded, we are more likely to reproduce the behaviour. Vicarious reinforcement. Less likely to replicate if observer sees negative consequences. Vicarious punishment. Modelling. Others act as blueprints for our behaviour. Can be real people or symbolic models from TV or movies. Identification. Models with characteristics we relate to, age, gender and ethnicity, are more likely to be imitated. 
mediational processes. Cognitive processes between stimulus and response that influence the likelihood of behavior imitation. Attention, seeing it. Retention, remembering it. Motivation, wanting, rewards. And reproduction, being able to do it, having the skill. Bandora, 1961. 72, three to five year olds. Children match on levels of aggression. Groups watch videos of adults interacting aggressively or non-aggressively, neutrally with a Bobo doll. Children match on levels of aggression. Found. Aggression was imitated in the group who watched the adults model aggression. The other group were not aggressive. Effect was stronger if the adult was the same gender as the child. Suggests imitation and identification. Bandora's research used control variables and demonstrated behaviour was imitated. However, a cause and effect relationship due to imitation in real life examples of aggression is difficult to study. Social learning theory's inclusion of internal mental processes is an improvement on behaviourism in explaining human behaviour due to personal experience of having internal mental processes. Face validity. Cognitions or internal mental processes used in social learning theory are not observable directly, making social learning theory less scientific than behaviorists who only studied objectively measurable stimulus and response mechanisms. Social learning theory processes can explain the development of basic learned behaviors, aggression, but not more abstract concepts like justice. Social learning theory sees behavior as environmentally determined. Nurture, but some behaviors may be innate. Nature, and better explained by biological explanations or a combination of both factors. The cognitive approach. The cognitive approach suggests behavior is a result of conscious and unconscious information processing. Thoughts. Internal mental processes are a series of stages of mental information processing. Stages are represented by cognitive theories such as theoretical models. These are flowcharts like those used by computer programmers, showing how information flows and is processed in a mental system, such as memory, working memory model, multistore model or attention. These models produce theories testable by experiment. The cognitive approach suggests the brain can be viewed as similar to a computer CPU, and the mind is like the software that runs on the CPU. Computers also have inputs like the brain has sensors, and outputs like behavior. This is termed the computer model. The role of schema. These are cognitive mental frameworks, or blueprints, of how people and objects work. They're formed from prior experience. These organize the large amount of information we experience every moment, and we make assumptions on how to behave and think. However, incorrect schema can lead to stereotypes, prejudice, and bias. Inferences. This is going beyond the observed behavior to make assumptions about the underlying structure of mental processes that resulted in that behavior. Users' internal mental processes can't be directly observed. Emergence of cognitive neuroscience. The development of new brain scanning techniques, such as fMRI, have allowed thought processes to be linked to patterns of activity in the brain, providing neurobiological support to pre-existing cognitive models, such as a working memory model. Machine reductionist. Oversimplifies human behavior by describing human thinking as processing like a computer. Computers do not have features of human experiences such as emotion, irrationality, and consciousness. Cognitive psychologists' ideas on information processing have been used to develop the field of artificial intelligence, with applications in self-driving and automation. These will have significant consequences for the economy. Cognitive is an example of soft determinism. Thoughts are influenced by previous experience, schemas, and brain structure. However, conscious thought can override as an expression of free will. Using inferences to assume underlying processes in thinking is unscientific, as internal mental processes cannot be directly tested and inferences might be mistaken or influenced by bias. However, the use of experimental method is scientific. Mental processes described by models such as attention and memory are distinct. However, there's little explanation as to how these mental events work together in a larger mental system. Cognitive neuroscience techniques used by Braver provide neurobiological evidence of the center executive in the working memory model, located in the prefrontal cortex. High activation detected with brain scans when completing central executive tasks, increasing with task difficulty. The biological approach. The biological approach suggests behavior is a result of physical processes within the body, primarily neurological brain activity, but also hormonal factors. These processes are inherited genetically and are the result of evolutionary pressure. The influence of genes on behavior is demonstrated from twin and family studies, showing the risk of disorders such as schizophrenia, OCD, and depression increase significantly the more closely related people are to a sufferer, as they share more genes. This is explained by genotypes, the genetic information inherited from parents that code for distinct, observable physical and behavioral characteristics called phenotypes. So the expression of physical and behavioral properties are dependent on the inheritance of genotypes. For example, certain genes, genotypes, code for the production of high testosterone leading to the psychological characteristics, phenotypes, such as high aggression levels being expressed. Biological structures. Neural areas in the brain are associated with behavioral functions, such as the amygdala, emotional responses, orbitofrontal cortex, future planning, and Broca's area, speech production. The development of these areas of the brain and the connections between them are coded genetically. Neurochemistry. Neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dopamine can influence brain synaptic functioning. 
Imbalances result in changes in behavior such as aggression levels and psychopathology. Hormones, like adrenaline, released by the endocrine system in response to stresses, result in the fight or flight behavioral response. Evolution is a selection of genotypes that code for phenotypes that provide a survival and or reproductive advantage. Behaviors with these advantages will become more prevalent in a population. Examples in human behavior are dominance, group cooperation, and mate guarding. Biological reductionism. Biological psychologists reduce the explanation for complex behaviors and human experience to simple biological elements. Neurotransmitters. While this ignores other valid explanations, this is based on the scientific principle of parsimony. That complex phenomena should be explained in the simplest way possible and has led to the development of effective drug treatments. But there is a complex interaction between environmental experiences and the development of biological structures, not fully explained by a purely biological approach shown by work on plasticity. Maguire in 2000 used MRI brain scans on taxi drivers who had completed a memory task called the knowledge. Areas of their hippocampus were significantly larger than controls. The effectiveness of drug treatments developed by biological psychologists, as well as biological theories, have been demonstrated by highly controlled nomothetic research studies using techniques that provide objectivity, such as blood tests and fMRI. Explanations for disorders such as schizophrenia that cannot be fully explained by genetic inheritance often take a diathesis stress explanation. Disorders being the result of the interaction between a pre-existing vulnerability, genetic genotype, and environmental stresses, personal loss, abuse, drug use. Biological determinism suggests human behavior and thought processes are the result of biological processes outside of our conscious control. This goes against the view that our decisions are driven by free will. The psychodynamic approach focuses on studying how unconscious psychological processes shape behavior. These processes are thought to form during early child experience. Founded by Sigmund Freud, who also based psychoanalytic therapy on these ideas. The unconscious is one of the three aspects of the mind, also including the consciousness, awareness, and the preconscious, thoughts and memories that can be recalled but not currently in conscious awareness. The unconscious is not open to awareness, containing socially unacceptable thoughts, painful emotions, drives and instincts, and memories that are repressed. The structure of personality, formed of the id, the pleasure principle, which is present from birth, and focused on satisfying its own needs and desires. The ego, reality principle, developed from two years, focused on balancing the other two aspects with rational thought. The superego, or morality principle, developed from three to five years and focused on obeying learnt rules of society, and uses guilt. Defense mechanisms are unconscious processes that reduce anxiety felt by the ego, by distorting reality. Include repression, making a memory inaccessible to consciousness, denial, refusing to accept the reality of a situation, and displacement, moving emotions from the source to an alternative. Psychosexual stages are phases of development that children pass through. Fixation can occur at any stage, resulting in adult psychological disorders. The stages are named after where the child gets pleasure and are oral, 0 to 18 months, anal, 18 months to 3 years, phallic, 3 years to 6 years, latent, 6 years to puberty, and genital, puberty to adult. Freud's ideas strongly influence the development of Bobby's attachment theories, which suggest periods of maternal deprivation in childhood can have long-lasting negative psychological effects on adults. This is widely accepted and has revolutionized child welfare. Psychic determinism. Mental processes and behavior that appear freely chosen under conscious control are actually caused by powerful unconscious systems set in childhood. This goes against how most people view their decision-making. Freud's theory is developed from his own interpretation of case studies, such as Little Hand's fear of horses, which Freud explained as resulting from fear of his father, Oedipus complex. This methodology is highly susceptible to bias. Concepts such as the unconscious mind being inaccessible mean it cannot be tested in scientific experimentation, so it can't be shown to exist or not exist. It's unfalsifiable. Popper argues this means psychodynamic ideas are not scientific. While psychodynamic concepts are not open to scientific study, the effectiveness of psychotherapy can be studied, but it seems limited. A meta-analysis by Eisenick in 1952 demonstrated 66% of people with neurotic disorders treated recovered. However, 70% recovered without any treatment at all, casting doubt on the theory behind psychotherapy. Humanistic psychology. Developed in the 1960s in response to other psychological approaches, that focused on the negative or pathological aspects of human behavior. Instead, humanism focuses on personal growth. Free will. Humanistic psychologists suggest that while there are laws and constraints on our behavior, our actions are not determined by cause and effect relationships, biological or environmental. We ultimately consciously choose our behaviors freely. Self-actualization. The point at which the individual has achieved their full potential, humans think that everyone has the capability and motivation to work towards this goal. Maslow's hierarchy of needs suggests that before satisfying the need for self-actualization, the individual must meet more basic needs. 
then progressing on to higher needs. In order, physical, survival needs, safety, love and belonging, esteem or respect needs, but few people manage to satisfy all needs and self-actualize. Focus on the self. Rogers suggests that each person has a self-concept, how you see yourself, and an ideal self, how you wish to be. Congruence is how close the self-concept and ideal self are. If there's a big difference, incongruence, then self-actualization can't be achieved. Conditions of worth are the requirements an individual feels that they need to meet in order to be loved. They can be real or imaginary. Conditions of worth stops self-actualization. Humanistic counseling. Rogers' client-centered therapy attempts to help the client achieve congruence and provides unconditional positive regard. The opposite of conditions of worth. The client is the expert responsible for solving their own problems. Concepts such as self-actualization are not clearly defined, operationalized, so are not measurable or open to scientific study. However, humanists reject the scientific method in the study of human behavior, suggesting it's not possible for humans to study humans objectively. Takes a holistic view of studying humans, considering all factors when attempting to understand individuals. Using ideographic methods such as case studies. Could be an example of cultural bias. Individualistic Western cultures prioritize individual success and achievement. In collectivist cultures, group success is more important. Humanistic psychologists may view individuals from collectivist cultures as less able to self-actualize, therefore in some way inferior. The humanistic theory is positive, suggesting strategies for significant personal development and positive change at any stage of life. A distinction from more deterministic approaches seeing behavior set in childhood or biology. Comparison of approaches. Internal mental processes. Behaviors ignore the role of conscious thought as unscientific. Social learning theory. Internal mental processes, mediational processes, are important in the generation of behavior in humans. Cognitive. Thoughts follow predictable systems that can be displayed as models. For example, the working memory model. Biological. Thoughts are due to complex interactions of neurons, can be understood using cognitive neuroscience. Psychodynamic. Large role for unconscious mental processes dominated by the id, superego, and defense mechanisms. Humanist, conscious mind is in control of actions and has free will. Disorders and treatments. Behaviors use techniques such as flooding for phobias learnt via conditioning, part of the development of CBT. Social learning theory. Uses reward mechanisms such as token economies in institutions alongside vicarious reinforcement. Cognitive. Disorders are due to maladaptive thought processes. Else's ABC. CBT is used to correct. Biological. Due to the imbalance of neurotransmitters, genes, or biological structure. Treat with drug interventions. Psychodynamic. Due to childhood development, psychotherapy as treatment. Depends on the process of introspection. Humanist. Focuses on the healthy human, not pathology. Unconditional positive regard in client-centered therapy. Reduction and holism. Behaviorists. Environmental reductionist. Ignoring mental processes and socio-cultural explanations. Social learner theorists. Less environmental reductionist, as includes mental factors, however it still ignores factors that influence behaviour, like biological factors. Cognitive machine reductionism. The mind is viewed as just a series of processes, similar to software. Biological. Biologically reductionist. Ignores learnt behaviours, sociocultural. Psychodynamic. Reductionist as behaviour due to drives, however includes aspects of thought processes and learning. Humanist. Fully holistic. The only way to understand human behavior is to consider all aspects, levels of humanity. Childhood development. Behaviorists. Development is based on environmentally conditioned behaviors learned via association, reinforcement, and punishment. Social learning theory. Behaviors can be learned socially during development, vicariously. Cognitive. Development by acquiring schemas about how to interpret the world. Biological. Development strongly influenced by genetic factors inherited due to evolutionary pressure. Psychodynamic. Childhood experience, psychosexual stages, Fundamental in the development of adult emotional disorders. Humanist. Healthy development requires unconditional positive regard and satisfying hierarchy of needs. Nature nurture. Behaviorists. Nurture. No role for instincts, biology, as born blank slates shaped by the environment. Social learning theory. Nurture. However, shaped by observation of others' experience. Cognitive. Interaction of brain structure and learned experience influencing the internal mental systems. Biological. Nature. Behavior is a result of interaction of pre-existing neurotransmitters, gene and brain structure effects. Psychodynamic. Both innate drives and the role of childhood experiences in shaping behavior. Humanist. Experiences. Nurture. Most important. But complex interactions with biological aspects. Ideographic. Nomothetic. Behaviorists. Nomothetic. Large animal experiments provide general laws for human behavior. Social learning theory. Nomothetic. Use of experimental method in determining general laws. Pandora. Cognitive. 
mainly nomothetic with the use of general mental models. However, some case studies. Biological. Nomothetic. Large biological studies used to give general, medical, physiological based laws. Psychodynamic. Ideographic use of case study. However, attempts to generalize findings. Nomothetic. Humanist. Ideographic. No attempt to make general laws, instead studies subjective individual experience. Free will and determinism. Behaviorist. Behavior is environmentally determined. Stimulus response. Social learning theory. Soft determinism. Learning and mediational processes determine behavior, however a role for choice. Cognitive. Soft determinism. Thoughts are affected by previous experience. Schemas. However, conscious thought can override. Biological. Behavior is biologically determined due to the interaction of neurotransmitters, genes and brain structure. Psychodynamic. Psychically deterministic, behavior is caused by unconscious mental processes. For example, defense mechanisms. Humanist. Humans express free will in their conscious decision making. Approaches in 20 minutes. Just. I want to give a shout out to my newest patrons. Craig Crouch, Elisa Burgess, Mia, Inna AJ, Mohammed Azur Rahman, Sarah Shakbari, Tiffany Wadey, Ella Dixon and Poppy Wingrove. Thanks guys for your support, especially for getting in early just as I'm starting this Patreon up. You're going to help make more videos like this possible for future students of psychology. I hope the notes for this video are a big help in your revision and that you enjoy the early viewing of my great explanation video. If you want to help support PsychBoost in creating free educational content too, follow the link and best of luck with paper too.